Hi guys, Trevor Swenson back with Through the Darkness. Hope Through the Darkness. My personal journey with trauma and stress related disorder. And today I wanted to talk about a topic that is a topic that I think gets pushed under the rug a little too easy in today's society. And this message is specifically for men. What I found in my experience in the life that I've lived thus far is that men have a really hard time talking about their brokenness, their failures, the, the abuse they may have incurred as a child or as an adult, or adversity that adversely affected them. And I think that society has created a bit of a monster, if you will, in that when men don't talk about these things, ultimately, I really feel like the hurt and the pain and the sorrow and the destruction just gets passed on to the people around them. And I can tell you for sure that in my only that that in that only in my own experience that when men have opened up and and talked to me about things that they haven't talked about or might be embarrassing per a particular stigma or devastating or unresolved almost without exception at the end of the conversation, there is a deep sense of appreciation of having been able to talk to somebody about it and a sense of relief, a sense of the load being lightened. So why am I talking about this? I will tell you that I was that man at one particular time and in my life and it actually took my wife being unbelievably persistent with health care with getting me on waiting lists making repeated phone calls unbeknownst to me to get the opportunity to have professional intervention in my PTSD walk without her who knows where I would be I could guess um, it's been a difficult road regardless, but I will tell you that the, but having the opportunity to talk about the trauma in my life, being able to talk to somebody that is validating, being able to talk to somebody that is safe has been invaluable. I would even go as far as to say that it has it has and it will impact generations to come in my in my own family line. I know that it has affected people well outside of me that I got help. And I think about something simple like my father-in-law. How, how do you think my father-in-law feels about me beating alcohol addiction? Think about that. How do you think he feels that he has a clean and sober caretaker of his incredibly beautiful and talented daughter? How do you think my boys will look back? How do you think my daughter will look back at her dad that had the courage to take the steps to get help and to start to process the trauma? The one thing that I know about my own trauma is that had I done nothing about it, it wouldn't have gone away. It still would have been there and it would have been handled in a much less healthy and a much more damaging way had I not had a wife that loved me deeply and wanted to see me healed, had I not been given the grace by God and had I not quite frankly had the courage to walk back into the trauma 
and process it professionally and to walk this out towards healing and to do the heavy lifting. And as I'm talking about this, and if you are a man, you know exactly in your life what is unresolved. You know what hurt you deeply. You know what you were never able to talk out in a healthy, safe environment. You know what those things are. You know what those things were. And I'm challenging you to get help. I'm challenging you to talk about the things that society has made so unacceptable. You're weak. You're weak-minded. You're not mentally tough enough. You are not, you are effeminate. You are soft. I will tell you that when you have PTSD, there is nothing soft or there, there's nothing that I can explain to you without you actually probably having or experiencing PTSD that can put you in the space that would help you to understand how much pain and how pervasive it is in every single area of one's life. And with that being said, I will tell you that getting help and that facing those things that are holding you back, like alcohol addiction or some other addiction or emotional outbursts or mood inconsistencies, violent temper, saying things that you know you shouldn't be saying that are all driven by things that can be tied directly back to something that happened in your life. It takes a whole lot of courage and it takes a warrior to step back with somebody professionally and to address those things. But remember, that courage is going to affect generations of people beyond you. Generations. My daughter's family, both of my boys' families, my current immediate and extended families, friends, people that you run into down the road that need what you've got to offer this world. Throw aside the stigma. It takes way more strength and courage to get help than to try to gut it out. And if you think you can gut it out, good for you. But I will tell you that the, stati the statistics that I have seen say otherwise. Find somebody safe, find professional help, and process those things for the people that come after you and the people that are around you. It's a message for men in particular. Women are a lot better at it than we are. This is Trevor Swanson with PTSD, Hope Through the Darkness. I can't wait to see you next time. Click subscribe, click like. Have the courage to take that step. People are counting on you. And it'll be rewarding, I promise you.